What are you doing? Good morning everyone, this is Ranger Rob from the Ranger Rob Country Living Channel. <laughs> and I don't know if I can say that any more interesting. <clears throat> so uh, it's a Saturday for us, Sherry's home. She's a pooper scooper in the yard, which we both take shifts on doing that. And you can see our grass is starting to get kind of shaggy. Because today, we're going to start mowing the lawns for the first time. And uh, so last night we got the lawnmower working good and had to get our tires filled up. And then this morning we brought in a new time-lapse camera. And uh, we're going to uh, show you where I put it. Well, we're in the greenhouse right now and what we've set up here is a new time-lapse camera. And uh, basically we have that set for a month. And what we want to get an overall view of how much the greenhouse has grown up. Now the problem with the view is because the camera is so far away everything's at a distance. I wish it was closer closer in but we have limitations. One is our power. Um, I'm only pulling 30 amps out here so I pray that I don't pop a circuit. Two is I actually had to put our uh, internet out here so I could actually communicate with the camera. I don't know if I'm going to leave that out here. But we have two sources of internet. We use what they call uh, Gatwa through AT&T. We also use Starlink. So uh, I might leave that there for a little bit. What would be nice about that being out here is I could do more live streams. So yeah. Anyway, uh, that's what's going on with the new camera systems. Also today, uh, we're going to attempt to uh, build our first outdoor hydroponic system, an NFT system. Um, might make a little modifications to it instead of going all the way across. I was thinking about going only 20 feet out with a double system. And then we also got to <laughs> dig a hole right here to put our tank. So I might have that done today. Maybe not. We'll see. Another quick check here on the grass here. It looks like our dandelions are dropping down, but that uh, weed and feed, I'm not sure if it did much for our uh, clovers, is really what I was trying to battle. So uh, if you look into our grass, we got a lot of clover. So I may have to treat it again or find a different product. We'll see. Okay guys, I've been working on, these are my little frames that I'm making. I need to make a set of four and they will decline. Um, I told you I'm putting this uh, hydroponic system close to the ground. So uh, these are, this is a 12 inch, next one will be 11, then another 11 and it'll drop down to a 10. And while all that's going on, Sherry has fired up the lawnmower. So it's taking us all morning to get all the stuff out of the yard and picked up, but uh, this is the first mow of the year and uh, got to be done, but it'll look beautiful when she's done. got this thing all done uh, all the brackets there you can see how they slope from 12 11 11 10 and uh, I'm hoping that's enough to hold those those uh, 
three inch pipes are quite stout um, but uh, hopefully I don't have to build any more but I might I've got lots of scrap wood but yeah let's take this out to the green well out to the garden all right guys here's the uh, here's the theory so uh, I'm gonna use two pipes 20 feet long this slope and the pipes will go outside of the fence and, and dump into a, a tank so uh, I don't have these measured out exactly the two in the center have to be kind of closer together because that's where the coupler is and uh, I want these low to the ground because I'm putting a trellis up next to it for the beans and stuff so hopefully I, <laughs> I have no proof of concept yeah, anyway, we'll see how it goes. Just winging it as we go. One other note, uh, I haven't got my brackets uh, for the pipe yet. I had to order them from Amazon. They come today, but I don't know what time of day. So once those come in, uh, I prefer not to use plumber's tape, but we'll see. Well, I added some pipes here to kind of give you the idea of what we're going to be doing. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is grab the tank, put it right here, so we kind of know where, how far these pipes at the end have to stick out. I do have some 90 degrees to dump right back into the tank, so let's go get that tank. Okay, so I'm going to let you see the size of the tank here. It's a 38 gallon tote. It will be put into the ground so the water can drain into it. Then there'll be a pump put in there, which will send the water all the way to the end and return it and keep the cycle on. This will run 24-7. And, uh, yeah, so I'm kind of excited. Should be pretty cool. I like this spot because it does get a little bit of shade, uh, which will help keep the water cool. Being in the ground will help it too. I'm pulling my wagon back to the back of the property here with a, my goodies but I thought I'd stop and let you see what the lawn looks like once we get the first mow and uh, it just looks so much different but you know what happens now that we mowed it we're gonna have to do it all the time now so uh, <laughs> it begins till like September another quick report on our potatoes they're growing like crazy and uh I've been adding dirt, but I think I have to add dirt again. It's just been less than 24 hours. It's amazing how fast these potatoes are growing. Well, we're starting to get a little more serious here. I'm in the garden. My brackets came in the mail today and my pump. So I don't think uh, I have anything keeping me from getting this thing built except time. So uh, I'm going to start fiddling around with this and see how, uh, how this will go together. Alrighty guys, here's the general concept going down to that tank there which needs to be put in the ground and uh, a 20 foot span at about a 3% slope and uh, I got to put caps at the ends of this 90 degrees at the other end and then we'll be running a half inch pipe up to the front to uh, uh, send the water back and there'll be a constant stream so Anyway, got some digging to do now. Well, I'm getting a hole dug here a little bit. Got the pipes all lined up. Had to readjust one of them, they were offset. And we got the hole going here. And I got someone in the way. Hey, Belle, what are you doing? So anyway, guys, it's kind of warm. So uh, I'm taking a lot of breaks. Well, a little bit of time has gone by. The wind's picking up, so sorry. Uh, I did get my uh, water line in, which goes to the center here. 
I've got to drill out those three inch holes to be a little bigger. My line goes all the way up to the top here, which uh, I decided in case my water flows too fast, I put a valve on it. So I'll show you really quick. It goes right to the top here, drains into these two pipes. Here I can regulate the flow and uh, we're good to go. And uh, the other thing I found out is these clamps I use for these hoses here were too loose. So I put some little foam in them to keep them from drooping. So uh, yeah, that's where we're at so far. I've got to grab the motor, do a little fit check for that. Then I'm almost ready to do a water test. Uh, we're going to drill holes in these things. One side we're going to do every three feet because beans have a really extensive root system. And the other side we're going to do every two feet. And it'll be two inch holes for net cups. So uh, we'll probably drill those first before we do a water test. That way I can rinse out all the uh, leftovers from the, the drilling. So yeah, we're getting there. Well, it's a little later in the day. We did get the holes drilled. The pipe in the uh, outside here is every three feet. The one in the inside is every two feet. Uh, once again, we're doing that because beans have really large root bases and they can clog up the, the system. So we got the pump in and uh, we're getting ready to run a, run a test. See how well it runs. See what problems I might have. Because basically I've had no directions whatsoever. I just wing this whole thing. So. I think we're about ready to fire it up and uh, see what happens. All right, guys, we're getting ready to plug this thing in. I got this. We can't quite reach. Here, you plug it in. She's going to do it. There she goes. And... I hear water. I hear water going to the end. If you guys are wondering, the, uh, the pump has a screen around it to protect it. And here comes the output. That didn't take very much water. Alright, let's go... Uh, Let's go see what it looks like in the holes. All right, we're in the back side here. You kind of see the water flow. Actually, I kind of like that water flow. So there you go. Uh, some people are going to ask me, why didn't I dam it up a little bit? And uh, basically, from the research we've done on hydroponics, to let water pool anywhere could be a cause for root diseases and uh, algae. So we're going to attempt to do this without um, doing any dams. And all that is is like taking the water out of the cap and going halfway up and making the water level go up higher. And we're going to avoid that. All right, guys. So that completes our test. Uh, I have to clean this tank out a little bit. I've got to drill my little holes in the back of this thing a little bigger for the drains to work. And uh, once we're ready to start planting, basically I'll exchange the water for nutrient water. And uh, we'll use uh, two inch net cups. And, uh, oh, and we got to build a trellis. So we're thinking about doing a trellis right down the center. And uh, that way we can uh, do vining plants on both sides. So anyway, that's tomorrow's project. Well, guys, we're going to wrap this video up. We're uh, enjoying our, our, our homemade fountain here. Sherry's been working really hard on that uh, above ground garden over there. And of course, she found a whole bunch of other things that needed to be done over there. She'll, it's twice the work as it should be. 
But uh, yeah, so we got an entire system up and running today, which is, th I'm thrilled to death. And uh, we're just gonna let this run for a little bit, make sure we get all the particles out of the pipe. And then uh, we'll pump out the water, put in nutrients, and uh, we'll be ready to rock and roll when we have our plants ready. One thing that's a little different about this is on your net cups, it's gonna be important that you have pretty good roots on your transplants because they've got to reach down to that running water at the bottom uh, and that's one of the drawbacks of not having any damming in there but uh, at the same time the healthiness of the plants will be better with a continuous flow of uh, nutrients over the roots so anyway we're pretty thrilled and uh, we got, got it all built in a day so uh, there you go an outdoor NFT system uh, for beans and there will be some trellises so guys have a great day please take the time to like subscribe and share our videos all over the whole wide world we'd appreciate it it really does help and down below in the comments say hello talk to you later guys bye our videos are made possible by ranger rob poopy bags available at amazon right now thank you very much for watching our video Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.